That's a cute outfit. It's cute as well. I like that. Begin chapter. Chapter one, still life. know you're a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. Pub banner. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? <laughs> Positive. Lift it up. That a dead red. Wait for it. Go. I would have so much allergies if I was there. <laughs> Just be sneezing. If I go to places like into this, the mouth of hell. I would need to like wear a mask. Hell is right. It's incredible. I think this is the part where we abandon all hope. Ooh. All hope of not contracting tetanus, maybe. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. <laughs> she clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? I wonder. Well, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hmm. Huh. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. <laughs> Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Bring me a drink. <laughs> I'll have a vodka martini. Any cocktail I make you here will be entirely spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Take photographs around the environment. Move camera.
I mean, the bottles are great, but there's also that graffiti over there. It looks pretty cool. There's the bourbon, whiskey. I like it. New Jersey scotch. All right, then let's just take the photo as intended. No, I can zoom in as well. As well. All right, there you go. So I would like a bit of that graffiti, if I can, please take photo. Let's see. So what are we looking for exactly, besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... lonely. Hmm. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oof. Hey, partner in grime. All right, let's Some chick. Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys really get around. Hurry up. I think this I'm thing glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. <laughs> what are you smiling about? Nothing. Let's see what this is. Looks almost like a face. It does. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self-portrait. <laughs> oh, Max. Oh my god. The roof's pretty much fallen into the bowling alley here. Photograph the bowling alley. Uh, let's look at this graffiti, graffiti here. Hmm. Edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> Wait. Uh... I don't go in for angels or demons. People are nasty enough all on their own. Don't I know it. Let's look at this ball return. God, Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. I remember. Weird kid. Fun party though. There was an ice cream cake. Ooh, I like ice cream cakes. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. I'm so glad Softby showed me this place. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Take a snapshot of that. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. <laughs> Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. Wonder who's paying the hosting fees. 
Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Pull down the tarp. Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. The, the tarp. They must have thought something was worth preserving back when they closed this place down. A chandelier. So much for never rearranging a space. <laughs> Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Lonely indeed. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. There. Help me find a way up. <laughs> you got it, Bass. Weird looking thing. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. <laughs> Aww, it's cute. I think it looks like. An off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What? You mean steal it? It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not <laughs> sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? <laughs> Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics. <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. It was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Yeah. Alright, let's see what stairs. No thanks, I value my ankles. <laughs> Alright, let's climb. Okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. Tell me See, this is it. why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. 
How are your parkour skills? <laughs> um, any other options? Other? Yes. Better? <laughs> I'll keep looking. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. The gnome smoking weed really pull the place together. Smoky gnomes. I'm guessing that's the right room. More of these devil stuff. If you wanted my number, you could just ask. Following me around the joint <laughs> is creepy behavior. Oh, I like that photo of a bowling ball. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. Yeah, you don't like the bottles, do you? That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns mm -hmm. out it's just more bowling ball. <clears throat> Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Yes, this is the angle I need. Take a photo. I like her boots. Just take that. Oh, there you go. Amazing. <laughs> wow. Ballet service too? This place is bougie. <laughs> Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? Let's get the hell out of this death trap. <laughs> Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Me too. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. No. Oh my god. What? Oh! Wow. Your camera! Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. Turtle? My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Back. Back. You dead? <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, I mean no, not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. A cosmo. I like for Sophie. Wow. Very on brand in both cases. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh. Not sure about it yet. So cute. So, what are you up to later? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> work? I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. That Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Mm. Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Oh, guilty. Flirting is like a foreign language to me. <laughs> you spent all those years on the road meeting new people every day and you still can't tell when someone's into you? I don't know. 
You don't need a lot of suitors in abandoned buildings. Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? school sweethearts, okay? Kinda. High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on! You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Oh. She died. We broke up. She... died. My senior year. Oh. Shit. Nah, hey, it's cool. It was a long time ago. You... want to talk about something else? <laughs> God, yes. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? She is cute. Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lake port. Yeah, this is a total catch. Half of lake port doesn't have what you have. A softy. I can help you navigate <laughs> the complicated waters of love. First step, <laughs> talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? <laughs> Makes it so cute. Wow, okay. Ooh. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. <laughs> Cup of Safi, FYI. There's a lot you can do in this world with a good friend who won't snitch. Preach. So true. No one knows how to keep a secret anymore. Curious whether you're the good friend or the one in need of such a friend, Sophia. Hmm. Oh my god, it's Joyce. It makes you remember me. It's Joyce, Chloe's mom. I know it's been a little while. I was cleaning the house the other day and I found the cutest photo of you and Chloe dressed like pirates. Um, I planned to send you a pic, but it turns out I misplaced it almost immediately. Oh, by the way, your parents told me about your award. We all knew you had it in you. Thanks, so Joyce. It was, a pre it was pretty cool to be recognized. Happy birthday, Max. Next time you're home, there's a slice of cake with your name on it and the two wheels. Today's the anniversary, Max. Losing my daughter, losing Chloe. I still get lonely without her. But there's comfort knowing you're here because you cared as deeply about Chloe as I did. And you still do. I wonder if you changed your answer to saying you broke up. What would the text be, you know? Uh, and then this is Moses. A lot going on. Oh my god, that's like a lot. A lot of text from him. That's the picture. Nice. DSLR. Oh, so nice. The photos are here, all in her Instagrams. Crosstalk. Uh. The Abraxas is a student society. They do performance art, which, as far as I can tell, just means 
juvenile pranks. <laughs> Open mic night sign up sheet is looking pretty empty, folks. Be sure to sign in or I'll have to resort to an entire night of duck jokes. Amanda and Raven? Typo, did you mean eggplant jokes? No. But she does have an entire bit about duck penises. <laughs> you don't want to hear about the duck penises. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Bring it on, duck jokes quack me up. <laughs> Sophie is too excited about my social life. So fucking over here. Like I haven't heard that one before. I'm serious about it this time. I'm about to fly off the handle here. <laughs> what does that even mean? Limit. I, I'm speaking English here. But are you really? Uh -huh. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here, or go home and let my dad <laughs> drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> Oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. Abraxas kids. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, hmm. why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. So Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Max is so cute. I bet you ten bucks she asks her out. I saw oh. Could you at least buy me another I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Clearly, someone else has taken the plunge. Ah, undergrads. Cute. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. <laughs> Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Last time I saw her. Pull. No way. The soup future is in my hands. <laughs> Senegalese peanut soup or New England clam All chowder. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. I'm looking for the peanuts. I've never been able to say no to a good lagoon. <laughs> Sophie says the bands that play here are small, but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh, Skull. Um, and I cannot stress this enough. Huh. <laughs> Gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. Again? Gosh. These are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl. But the thing <coughs> here is just confusing. Somebody keeps flipping the painting. Stop messing with other people's art. <laughs> Worst pickup oh, lines. Man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. You have kidney stones because your body rocks. Hey, baby, if you were in a bug, you'd be fine. Print. <laughs> you must be a bank because uh, you have my interest and I have to wait in line to talk to you. <laughs> Fix the flip paintings. Oh, okay, let's do it. <laughs> I'm 
Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. Ah, yes. The telltale signs of a 10 coffee almond. <laughs> Wait, that's a beer thing over there. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. <laughs> I should cool. be able to break the ice now. Not that having more to talk about or more pickup lines for her chalkboard <laughs> ever hurts. Just talk to her, Max. You know how to talk? Usually. Beers of the month, Seminary Road, Old Bad Jumpel, Ale, Friendly Flamingo Stout. Also try our Sunday Bloody Mary. Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Aww. Oh, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the Aww. third glass this week, Reggie. Why do you keep breaking glasses? Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. All right. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. <laughs> Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. <laughs> There she is. Next time, remember, the class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> and pretty amazing. <laughs> so hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Uh. No, sorry. I actually had never heard of them until I read your wreck on the whiteboard. Oh, right. You're not a Lakeport local, duh. <laughs> so, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind oh. of founded the Lakeport music scene. That's cool. Lakeport has a scene? Like, multiple bands? Yeah, man. This town's pretty sick outside of the academic bubble. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit! You do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, <laughs> trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? Hey baby, I <laughs> lost my number. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. <laughs> so, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Revenge Horse. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. So, um... Ugh. Uh... I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, 
zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? Well, direct. From the get go. Date thing, come on. I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. Cute. Ba ba ba. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are total blur. But a man is really cool. Ooh. Moses. Thank God, Moses. Hey. Oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We <laughs> didn't almost die. Yeah, cause I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us. There's a meteor shower tonight. Ooh. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come, both of you. That's perfect. All we need is. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight she gets this way when she's in a good mood courtesy of madame president mommy dearest at least until she remembers that I have her credit card <laughs> <laughs> shall we? champagne Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. Wow. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? What would I do? Let's be honest. I'd probably just put on Return of the Living Dead and eat an entire pizza by myself. Why mess with her team? She died doing what she loved. <laughs> Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? <laughs> Cause, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. Oh, and they're cute cups too. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. <laughs> Grab a mug, Max. Uh, nerdy and dirty. Actually, vodka. Toilet. I can't wow. ever drink out of a toilet. One out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. What? You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me. I selfie. just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. 
<laughs> I've got income. You should wear I'm gloves, gonna, Moses. You know. Um, do my thing. <laughs> Journal? Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. <laughs> I'm dying to know what Soppy's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. I'm so sorry about the broken glass, Max. Please don't let Amanda ban me for life from the snapping turtle. Uh, I mean, create the difference of our position will show or stars in your window I cannot even imagine was gonna post the full Brooks quote it's so damn cold on top of this observatory that I can't remember it you would be cold if you stayed in the snapping turtle you wouldn't be cold Amanda you can't see a meter shower from inside a bar should know that if she ever left that bar my little sis calling me out Ashley okay did you bring the heated gloves I got you? These, those gloves are currently unaccounted for, so they're lost. They're on a journey of self-discovery. <laughs> Amanda. Uh, what? I can't show full post. Okay, you go. Almost pissed my pants. Still landed the girl. Excited for my revenge horse date. Ooh, who's the girl? And does she know you almost peed yourself? She does now. I wouldn't telegraph to the world that I almost pissed my pants, but that's just me. Lisa. The joys of cooking. Ever since I retired, living alone has been lonely, so I become a kitten foster. Oh, welcome to the price. Household skillet, walk griddle, and sauce. <laughs> Sweet creatures, get ready for a little surprise all over your house while you're litter box training, though. Well, believe me, we went through that with Bongo. I haven't had a cat since him. He was a good boy. Maybe I can convince Ryan we need to foster kittens during our retirement too. Aww. Can't do anything with the computer oh, again. We got some serious graph action going on here. <laughs> I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just crunching numbers. <laughs> Posted. Moses Murphy, man of science. Here I speak to you. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um. Okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. What? Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. She'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. <laughs> okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Thanks for making a poor bone weary by Tender's night. A poor cute bone weary by Tender. Don't forget that part. I never. Not only can she flirt in person, but she can do it over text too. I'm a woman of many talents. We'll see if you've got good music taste to boot. Eat your heart. I feel friend now. 
Okay, go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all night before I forget too late. If you want more dumb jokes, I have a comedy account for the turtle mm, and a comedy. No pressure though. Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. Since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. <laughs> I'm not above relaxing my principles to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Okay, no big deal. I just need to outsmart the sharpest person I know. Sophie's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Sophie eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. <laughs> now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. Okay. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Dang, Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Nice try, Max. Come on, Safi. The elusive Safi, so adapt to at evading it. Any and all candy photographers, once again, remains elusive. Well, time to put my master plan into action. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. Find anything poemable? Oh, short <laughs> poems. The moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. You never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Hold me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. <laughs> Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. Oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. <laughs> Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Yeah, that's true. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like as a collection, and a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. 
Hello? This is Safi. Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad speaking. Be right back. So, uh, Return of the Living Dead? What about it? You said you'd watch it while the asteroid hit. Isn't that a zombie apocalypse movie? Return of the Living Dead is a zombie apocalypse masterpiece. I've seen it probably a hundred times. So you're gonna watch a movie about the apocalypse during the apocalypse? Well, yeah. That's why it's a good pick. Why fight the end of the world when you can embrace it? I guess. <laughs> Look at that! What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. Oh no. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. I think I'm gonna take off. Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so. invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came into my life at all. It seems you always... Caledon's a beautiful campus, but it's even better when it snows. Just waiting you to suddenly appear. Everything I know Call the end And promise this is what you want What if I'm dreaming What a perfect night for walking home I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see <laughs> I received an alert from my bank that I purchased in excess of two hundred dollars, which made the snap internal on my credit card. So on your phone, and I was wondering if you had seen her. In trouble. I just want to know. Head home. Father of modern astronomy ought to appreciate my dad jokes. Off his chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. <laughs> what did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Or if I'm dreaming. What the? Oh. 
gorgeous. Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow. You're really watching me, aren't you? I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Is everything okay? Why'd you run off? Sorry, I think Safi went to over to the overlook and I want to make sure she's alright. Well hang on, I'll join you in a minute. Shit! Hmm? Safi, hang on! Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought... What? She was right here. Sophie. Sophie? Hey. You okay?
when she has a lot of photos. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. time, Max. That's fucking insane. No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met, All those people lived, but you died because of me. It's never fair, is it? I miss you so fucking much, Chloe. Damn. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. <laughs> The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith, a punk band out of Oakland. She was enthusiastic. Pretty cool. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Mm. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. Yum. If I could undo your death, Safi, I'd do it without a second thought. Max, I just heard about Safi. You okay, hon? No need to respond. I just want to check in. Okay, a lot more written response would help, but I understand. That's it, Max. I'm coming over. I'm scheduled. Hey, uh, Max, where are you? I'm doing my best not to lose my shit and it's not working. Update. Went to my lab to think, but still freaking out. Please get back to me when you can. I assume you're also processing what happened, and I get that, but I'm feeling all alone here. Are you okay, Max? Any sign at all would be greatly appreciated right about now. All right, I'm going to do, I'm going to try to get some sleep. Emphasis on try. Hope you're able to do the same. Hey, Moses, I'm so sorry. I'm just not texting you back. I've been in a feud state ever since, and the thought of even looking at my phone made me more depressed. I hear you, Max. It's hard to deal with this. It's hard enough to deal with this and harder still thinking I was dealing with it alone. I know, and I'm sorry. You're not alone, not in this, not in anything. Thanks, Max. I should try to get a little rest before tomorrow. And if you get the energy to come to campus, come find me. We should talk. Deal. I'll see you tomorrow. Well, it's morning somehow. Sleep was pretty much non-existent. Imagine you didn't sleep much either. I'm scheduled to meet with Yasmin today, and I'm not sure what to do. Wish me luck, I guess. Fuck. She went through all of that alone. 
Maxine, Maxine, where are you? I haven't heard from Sophia and I'm starting to worry. Did you tell her I'm not mad at her for splurging at the snapping turtle? I know how impulsive she can be. She's not answering her phone and I don't know what to do. Maxine, please, if you hear from her, call me immediately or have her call me. My God, Maxine, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. The texted from the Lakeport Police Department just left. I told them to speak with you. Inshallah, you have more information for them than I can provide. She was my only child. I did everything to protect her and yet still this this. I'll be in my office today. Maybe work will take my mind off it. Please come by if you are able. Work did not take my mind off it. I saw her everywhere I looked. Came home after 45 minutes and slept for 11 hours. Why aren't you answering your phone? Are you angry with me? I would understand, but silence is most painful of all. Grieve, however. You must, but please don't shut me out. Not now, not like this. I'll be in my office again today. I don't know what else to do. I do not know what else to do. Shit. <laughs> my place is a mess. Uh-huh. Shit, shit, shit. I'm a mess. That's a cute little pajamas there, like cat cloud or something. Hey, Alright, get dressed and tidy up. Alright, just... What? Better How change I... out of my pajamas too. What? Where? How do you change out of your pajamas? Oh, there you go, the closet's right there. Get dressed. Obviously, this is the best. Now to take care of downstairs. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. It is with the utmost pleasure on behalf of myself and my esteemed colleagues here at Caledon University that I inform you of your selection as the Hillerton visiting artist of the coming school year. We have been following your work and your trajectory for quite some time and are honored to have you share your wisdom and light with our students. During your time at our campus, you will be staying at Hellerton House, a rustic and cozy home with short walk to campus, which has all the modern amenities you require. I imagine you will have many questions, and if so, feel free to reach out day or night at my personal cell or via email. Look forward to working with you and seeing the works you produce under the auspices of our humble university. That's so cool. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. I'm clean. The rest of the house? Not so much. The Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. Safi's murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. I saw a very suspicious owl. <laughs> Does that help, officer? Fitzpatrick. Alright, what do I have to do? Peanut butter... Hot sauce... I swear, I'll clean that one pan eventually. No cleaning, got it. will understand. Dark room... This is a pretty big place. Just gonna have to clean this. Yes, clean there. Amanda the might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. At least you cleaned the table. What about all these tissues and stuff? Oh, damn. I've already cried through like four boxes of tissues. Screaming. New personal record. I don't think Avanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today.
What else? This isn't one of mine. How? Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater Neb. like Sophie. <laughs> Is it her? No, it's just a bunch of people walking by. So, how do I look at tidy up? Okay. Can you still be welcome in a place you have no desire to go back to? Tell me Good to it. know Vanessa and Ryan still have my back. No matter what. <laughs> Dad and I took a weekend trip down to the old town and thought you'd get a kick out of this car. We're so excited to hear about how you're settling in at Kelaton. We knew we could you could accomplish anything you say or may do and it sounds like we were wrong. Sometimes when I close my eyes I still see her lying on that bathroom floor. So journal. Wow. Everybody's safe. It's like it never happened. It never happened. We started a new journal because the old one is full of lies now. I can feel the power underneath my skin. If I wanted to, I could go back and see you again. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll break the world again. You asked me to save everything else and let you go. So that's what I do. Fuck you. I miss you. Long Beach. Autumn smells different here. Oh my god, the journal is so cute. I'm loving it. So pretty. Autumn smells different here. I'm sitting beneath palm trees, but I can still feel the changing of the seasons. Back at home, it's probably already cold at night. I can't imagine that here. I know LA was yours and Rachel's place. I hope you don't mind that I'm here instead. Or that your mom gave me your old truck. That thing is such a piece of shit. <laughs> I wonder what you guys would have done if you ever made it here. You deserved everything. I don't know, making it past your 19th birthday. It's selfish of me, but I'm glad I got you to myself for the short amount of time that I did. I'm fine being selfish. April 6th. This town I'm in is so tiny, it doesn't even have a post office. It looks like one of those places you expect to have like the world's biggest soup spoon or whatever, but there's just one stoplight and one diner. I can see the stoplight from the diner. I used to think Arcadia Bay was tiny. Shows you where Ubris can get you. This group of college kids passing through got all excited when they saw my camera and I ended up getting some really great shots. I gave most of my photos away though. One of the students tried to pick me up, I think, but I pretended not to notice. You would have caught me clueless, and you'd be right. This book is dusty! I found it after two days of looking. This is what I get for keeping my shit in storage. The letter from Caledon made me think about school, which made me think about you, which made me think about this book. When I met Yasmin Fayette at my show in Boston, I had no idea she was the president of a prestigious liberal arts college. She was just some hot older lady who seemed to really want to be my friend. <laughs> the artists in residence lodgings were described as a cottage in the onboarding materials, but it's the size of my last three apartments combined. Yeah, it's a big place. It'd be a great place to bring friends over if I had any. Picture it, I'm sitting in President Fayette's office in my first day and in comes this girl in acid wash jeans and a Dolce & Gabbana jacket. She says hi to me like we've been friends for years, reaches over the President's desk and snags her keys and announces she's taking the car and her too. We went and got ice cream in her mom's Porsche. Oh right, she's Yasmin Fayette's daughter, Safi Lirilin Fayette, a grad student at Caledon. She declared Rocky Road the best ice cream of all time and told me the jeans were an experiment that wasn't really working. That was almost a month ago when I see her almost every day now. We're friends, I guess. It's been a while. Did I mention that part at the Kildon Artists in Residence still is seminars? Like teaching lectures and students coming to them and learning in a hall with slides? I tried to tell Yasmin that I don't have any teaching experience. But that I was, what was I supposed to say? Sorry, my only photography class was the two months in senior year. I was infatuated with a hot teacher who turned out to be a psychotic pervert and murderer who kidnapped me to a secret bunker. I can't even get through a lesson plan without thinking about Jefferson. Despite that, people seem to like the seminars. There's a couple student students in particular that I think have a lot of potential. Is this a teacher emotion? 
Safi is always encouraging me to do normal people stuff and today it panned out because I've got a date, motherfuckers. I was a little scared. I've seen Amanda make a guy cry and gave him a free beer after, but we clicked hard, I think. Safi did ask about you earlier, but I sidestepped that convo to like a wild bear. Talking about the dead is a mood killer. I have a feeling she'll bring it up again. Not again, not again. Damn. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey Max, I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell works. 